Hey everybody, Ben here from DMC Films and Cinderblock Studios, and when you watch other art videos on YouTube, as well as mine, as well as videos from paint manufacturers, a lot of them talk about light fastness. So what is light fastness, why does it matter, and why should you care? That and more, coming up. So let's start simple. What is light fastness? In short, light fastness is the permanence of any colored media. Permanence in this case comes with two main factors. A light exposure, which is both natural light and artificial light, so UV exposure as well as whatever the heck, you know, artificial light does to your pieces. As well as the humidity of the environment. These two factors combined will, for some paints, cause them to either lose their color intensity or just change color entirely. Now when I say over time, I'm not talking about a period of a couple of months or a couple of weeks. This is a long period of time, bare minimum five to 10 years. So I'm sure you're already making a few assumptions on your own, but why does this matter to painters? For a painter, particularly a fine arts painter like myself, you want your work to last for a while, especially if you sell it. So as mentioned in my Everything You Need to Know About Acrylics video, there's a lot of information on your paint tube. A lot of them times you're listing things like opacity, uh, tint strength, things like that. Uh, particularly, uh, sometimes it's on the front, sometimes it's on the back. For golden, it's on the front. It has light fastness and then a little number, uh, Roman numeral one, two, or three. Uh, now this will tell you how light fast uh, your particular paint is. So what do these one, two, and three numbers mean? Well, one essentially means excellent light fastness, two is very good, and three just kind of means not sufficiently light fast. So it's still probably a little bit light fast, but eh, it could be better. This one, two, and three system was developed in 1984 by the American Society of Testing and Materials, or ASTM. Uh, I said actually ATSM in a previous cut of this video and screwed it up for a good, you know, three, four minutes. Now, because these are 1984 standards, anything you have that's a tube of paint or something like that that's you bought or bought used that was made prior to 1984, one, I'm surprised it's still good, and two, uh, it won't be using this standard. So rather than one being the best and three being the sort of worst, uh, it used the old British standard, which was one is the worst and eight is the best. But in general, the one, two, three system is what you're going to find on most tubes these days. So you might be thinking, okay, Ben, this is all fine and good, but what do you suggest, or rather me? Well, whether you're using oils, watercolors, or acrylics, uh, choosing a artist or professional grade paint will pretty much keep this problem from ever being a problem for you. Unlike student grade paints, higher quality paints have a certain sort of base standard to them that they usually only use uh, level one or level two light fastness in all of their paints. Now it's important to note that some, uh, both acrylic and oil mediums and gels, uh, don't always retain that light fastness, and that's something you just should check anyway. Now, because mediums are a specialty item, uh, you don't need them to paint, uh, that's usually why they can kind of play around with the light fastness a little bit more. But again, if you're buying quality, it's usually not something you have to worry about. So again, lower end paints won't have sufficient light fastness in most cases, as well as alternative mediums. So anything like a latex house paint is pretty much definitely gonna fade over time. Also, for artists to use something other than paint, uh, inks, uh, particularly dye-based inks like India ink, will fade over time, but something like a pigmented acrylic ink will not. High-end colored pencils, pastels, and other media will often have light fastness on them as well, and so again, that's something you just kind of want to check as you're buying things. So if you learned anything in today's video, go ahead and hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe for more, and this has been from DMC Films and Cinderblock Studios. See you guys next time.